guys wanted to come and upload um, a quick video about um, some transforming jeans into a skirt. Uh, I'm a denim freak. I love denim. I love sharp denim skirts and stuff like that. And um, I've been trying to find me a cute, sharp, jazzy um, black skirt, denim skirt. And I wanted it ankle length and I just could not find it. So, bing! I was like, duh! I forgot I know how to transition jeans into um, into skirts. And let me tell you, I pulled out a pair of my old jeans and I got to work in this week and I wanted to show y'all what I ended up with. I got another pair of jeans that I did that I'm working on to transition into a skirt. But I wanted to show y'all some of the ones that I've done so far. And um, I'm just kind of set up a little bit. But I want to show y'all some of the ones I got set up so far that I've done so far over the, over the past years. And I'm going to show you the ones that I did tonight or the black jeans that I transitioned from um, pants to jeans. And my roommate, I don't sew. <laughs> my roommate's going to uh, end up sewing. I just kind of do the de designs on them and kind of do my bid, put my vision together. And she sews it up. And it's, I always get compliments from my skirt. But I wanted to show y'all real quick some of the skirts that I've done. Um, um, this is one that I did. Um, I forget how long ago. But um, every time I wear it, these were a pair of pants, and I could not wear these. Uh, they were kind of the leg was just out of style, and I think I just kind of got tired of these things, uh, wearing them as pants. But I kept them, and I transitioned them over into a denim skirt, and got the little one, you know. And see, what the best thing about making your own jeans is they're like, you know, one of a kind. <laughs> Nobody, you ain't going to find them in the store. And I pair these up with really cute jackets. And here's one that comes right mid-calf. This thing, every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. And I like to fray the ends. You know, you just put this in the washing machine and it frays. But this is another one that I transitioned over. You see the design on the bag? I did it just a little different. I cut the pieces up and I put two different types of jeans on this particular one. Love this skirt. I also took a pair of corduroy cords. I had some yellow cords one year, and these are the, uh, the pre-stretched cords. They didn't have the stretch material, stretch in them, the, uh, what do you call it? Spandex. But I made this a few years ago, and this thing is so funky. Oh my God. And I had left. I did the back, I did kind of a diamond shape, I cut the legs, and I made the legs into my filler part, but what I did was, when I put this together, I left this particular, you can see the kick, I left that kick, like a diamond shape, upside down V in the back, so when I wear my boots with these, I always get compliments, I've had this for about five years. I'm never giving this away. This is just sharp and I can wear it in the you know, in the summer. Even though it's coarse, you can wear it in the summer. Here's another uh skirt that I took. And what I did was let me show y'all. Hope you can see that. I'll come up. This material is actually from a fabric store and it's like um, what is it? Material that you use to cover sofas and stuff. I just got creative and I took different patches and I took this little plaid, I took that, and I took a denim skirt, it's a strip, and I fucked it up in the back. Every time I wear the skirt, I hope y'all can see it. Really good. Let me hold it back here. That's the back of the skirt, and you can see the pockets. But every time I wear this skirt, and I've had this for a while, I did the front kind of plain, but I got the material going in two different directions. I laid it down this way, then I turned it sideways. And this is one of my favorite skirts. Love to rock this skirt. It's kind of long now, and I've lost a little weight, but 
I'm not giving it away. But you can take your, I don't know, I'm probably looking crazy with that makeup on my face, but you probably, I mean, you do not have to throw away your old jeans. I'm going to show y'all one more, then I'm going to show y'all the black one that I did today. I have this one I've had for, this was the pre-spandex days as well. And um, see the bottom. And uh, this is the short denim. I put these on with my polka dot shoes. If you look at some of my shoe um, collection videos, you'll see those polka dot shoes in there. And I rock this with a black top and I do my silver jewelry. This skirt is just funky. And then of course, I wear it with boots. It comes really knit cap right after, uh, below my knees. And it looks really cute. But this is the pre spandex days. But I took this skirt and had it changed it over into a pair of pants. Now, here's my black skirt that I just finished. And I know it's black. You can see it. I still got the pins in it. My roommate's going to sew it up. She was going to do white stitching, but I told her, no, I want to keep it black. And I'll show you why in a minute. I got it black and I got it's kind of diamond shaped. I cut little squares out to give it a little funky look and I laid them sideways so they come down like diamonds. And then at the bottom, I got it where it's um, it just kind of, and I took the end, as you can see, and I cut it, as you can see it. And I cut it, I frayed it with the scissors this time. I, and then after she sews it, I can put it in the washing machine and then it'll spread out on its own after wear and wash. Wear and wash, wear and wash, and then the frays will become more defined. And, um, but here's the fact. I told this is the reason why I didn't want her to do any white thread because I want a, a totally black skirt. But what I did with this, I took it, like I said, it's the best part about making your own jeans. I mean, your own skirt from your own jeans is that you can put your little signature on it. Me, I love to be different. And what I did, I added a, a denim thing in the back. My finger just came through the hole and I didn't pin it. But anyway, so what you're going to do when I, when, you, when I turn from you, you'll see all the black. And then, bam, at the bottom, you're going to get hit with that little stripe the piece of strip of denim at the bottom. Love it. I can wear it with my animal print shoes, my polka dots, I can do red, I can do orange, I can do blue. But that that that's gonna be the surprise piece when I walk away because in the front it's gonna look like it's all black. But in the back at the bottom, I just put that little strip of denim in the back. So these were a pair of high waisted black jeans that I had for a few for a couple of years and I have these in blue. But I wanted me a black funky skirt. I couldn't find one so okay, so I'll make my own. So anyway, here's my skirt. I'm sorry I didn't get to uh record how how I did it and put it all together even from taking it apart and stuff. But I promise uh those of you that are interested if you want me to, I'll do it tutorial on how I do mine because I know some people, uh, there's a lot of creative people out there on YouTube that show us how to do transform different things into um, just recycling clothing. But this is one thing that I do and I love to do because I'm a jean freak. I love jeans and shoes. Um, but I take my jeans and I change them over into skirts. So that's my black skirt that I've been looking in stores for, but I pulled it out my chest and and through my jeans, and I'm like, okay, baby, stay nighty night. It's time for you to resurrect <laughs> and come into you finna come go from being pants to a skirt. So I'm gonna rock this anyway. I hope y'all like my design. I'm gonna back again with all this touch of denim at the bottom. I love that effect. Don't so, y'all um, anyway? It's my idea, but anyway, just wanted to upload. Um, my new creation and my creation, some, some things that I do, something that I do, I wanted to share that, um, not throwing away my jeans, but to keep on to your jeans and um, how you can take your jeans, transition them from being pants to skirts. What you can't find in the store, you create it in your own mind and put it together. I don't sew, my roommate sew, even if you don't sew, get somebody else to sew it, but you can always put it together. But I'll show you guys um, my process, those of you that are interested in. Anyway, 
Just wanted to share that with you guys. I will see y'all later, YouTube. Toodles. Talk to y'all later.